Well, hello everybody and thanks a lot for taking a look at my video. This video is called Facebook for Seniors, although you don't necessarily have to be a senior to watch it, but it's really designed for people that are just not tech savvy and don't have any idea whatsoever on how to get started. And maybe you don't want to, you know, bother your grandkids on how to do this. Okay, so first of all, then I have to go to my browser. In this case, I'm going to use Chrome and I click on it and it's just uh, starts out with my Google page. So this area up here is called the URL or your address bar. Now in the address bar, I'm just going to type in Facebook and because I've already been there before, it already comes up. I can type in Facebook.com if it doesn't just like this and it'll take me right to Facebook. Now I've already have an account, so you're going to see my email and uh, space for the password up at the top. And if you don't already have that, then you're going to have to start out first of all by making one. So if we want to make our own, we're going to come down here right at the bottom where it says sign up. We're going to click onto that then we're going to fill in all of our information. So once you get this screen, you're going to go ahead and type in the number that was texted to you. And look at your phone, type in the number, and then click continue, and then you'll be good to go. So every time you log in, it, it should automatically show your login name up here. But right now what I'm going to do is put in my email address that I use and my password. I told it to save so it automatically comes up. And I hit log in, and voila, we are on my Facebook page. Okay, so if you want to set your privacy settings, the best thing to do is come up here to this little lock and it says privacy shortcuts. Okay, you click on that, it's going to be left click on it, and you can play around with this. It's really, really very intuitive, um, or you can also, you just have to go through each one and separate and set them exactly how you want. So let's take a look. Who can see my stuff? Okay, so every time you post, which means when you put some kind of a story up on your Facebook, you want to say who can see it. Now, I have mine set at friends. If I want the general public to see it and they look up my Facebook by my name or phone number, anybody can see it. Right now it's friends or I can say only me. More options as well. But I set it at friends so that uh, obviously if they're on my friends list or somebody I trust and I'm not worried about them seeing my photos. Um, so anyways, let's go back here and we just set that. Now we say who can contact me. I have it set at everyone that they can send me a friend request and that way I can accept or deny it. Or you can set it here for friends of friends only. Then going back to the lock again, uh, how do I help someone, how do I stop someone from bothering me, which can happen on here. And if you want to block them, you just have to add their full name or their email address. And email usually works better for that. So we did those settings using the lock like that. Let's come over to this little icon at the top with a drop down menu. Click onto that, left clicking of course. And let's go down and look at settings over here and see what we have. Now, it's a little bit more involved on this setup. So, let's go to privacy first of all. We have all of these others as well that we can set notifications, etc. Um, again, it's pretty intuitive if you just kind of uh, work through it and take your time. But let's go to the privacy. And again, we see here who can see my stuff. We set it at friends. If I wanted to change it, I click edit. Then uh, review all the posts were tagged and use activity log. I have mine set for use activity log because I don't want anyone to just post something about me. I have no control over it. I can come over here now. My wife posted this one and tagged me in it. By the way, tagging means that they We'll get to that later, but tagging means that they are adding your name to the photo or the post. So now I have the option right here of adding it to the timeline if I want to. Um, this is kind of old and I never added it. It's for Black Friday. I'm not going to add it right now. So we're not going to use that. Now if I ever want to return back to my home page again, 
we're just going to click on the F for Facebook right up there. And that brings me to my home page so that I see what's going on. But in the meantime, let's go back over here and take a closer look again at our settings. Um, this is our contact email, which we can change if we want to edit it. And our password, of course, you can change that at any time just by clicking here. And that's really the main ones that we want to discuss right now. Let's take a look now at the timeline and tagging, which is right here. Okay, so we click on this, and now we have, again, options of how we can set this up. So, who can add things in my timeline? I personally don't like any stranger or any friend arbitrarily deciding what they want to add to my timeline. So, I have set it as only me. If I want to change that, I click on that, and then I come over here to this drop-down menu, and then I can say friends if I wanted to. Now I have this option, review post friends tag you on before they appear in your timeline. As I said before, I have that on. Okay, again, if I didn't want to, these are my different options that we can do down here. I just did my back arrow key, you see, which is right up here on the upper left-hand corner. Uh, besides that now we have how can I manage tags people add and tagging suggestions um, so remember I said that someone can tag you in a photo if they tag you in the photo that means that your name appears there it's tied into your Facebook it'll appear on your Facebook wall and other people can see it so our option here review tags people add to your own post before the tags appear on Facebook. And I said, yes, I want to review them first. When you're tagged in a post, who do you want to add to the audience if they aren't already in it? I said, only me. I'm keeping it very private. If I didn't want to do that, we can come over here and say friends. Then our next option is who sees tag suggestions when photos that look like you are uploaded. Facebook can actually do some pretty good face recognition and they may recognize you and then want to tag you. I say nobody can do that. So you see you'll get something like this on Facebook and other people can say, oh yeah, that's Jeff. I'm going to click on that and tag him. Well, I, I really don't want that. I like it to be more private. Okay, so now we can start having fun on Facebook after we've got our privacy settings. Uh, anytime you want to return to your home page, there's a couple ways to do it. You're going to, as I said, click on the F for Facebook. Over here is for my home page again, and I click on this, and this will show my profile as other people can see it. Now, I added a few things in here. I have um, what we call a cover photo up here, and over here is my profile picture. I can change the profile picture at any time. All I have to do is click on it. And now I have the option here of uploading whatever photo I want. Very, very simple to do. Just click here on upload. And what this will do is it's going to find photos on my computer of what I may want. So all I do is say open. It uploads the photo. And you see this drag to reposition? It allows me to move the photo where I want it to be. Do I want to show more of the camera, more me? I'm going to show both myself and the camera and do it like that. I can add a little description up here if I want. Um, I can go to edit. And here it lets me add in different filters to it. So there's original. And this is vintage. Gives a little worn out look. Go to black and white, just different things that we can do. Want to add text to it, we can do that. Anyways, you can have fun playing around with that. I'm going to say cancel because I'm not changing my photo right now. It says, do I want to discard all changes? And I say yes, because I'm not going to use this. I'm going to cancel this. And I'll say leave this page because I'm not working on it anymore. 
Okay, now probably the most important part on Facebook that most people use is going to be this area, what's on your mind. Okay, this is, this whole area right here is what we call the wall. You see this? It shows all different posts from different people. My wife and I went out the other night, so she actually posted this picture on Facebook. She tagged me and I accepted it. Um, so this is my name where she tagged me. And she put in where we were at, the name of the restaurant, and the date is up here as well, and the city. So, let's say we want to do something on our timeline. So, I'm going to just put my cursor right here on what's on your mind, and I'm going to see making a training video for... Facebook for seniors. Okay, I could add a photo to it if I want. I would click here, and again, I can pick out a photo, and it will add it to the post. I'm not going to do that, so I just hit cancel. I can come over here and tag people in my post. Uh, I would have to find those people. I would type in their name here. Let's say I put in my wife's name and it comes up here I could click on it and she would be tagged and it would show up in her timeline if she accepts it if she has that under privacy settings here is just kind of an icon to say how I'm feeling and we can set the date and time of the post if I wanted to add video to the post I can do this too I could put this entire video attached to it then right here we have the option of who is going to be able to see this post. Now I can say it's public, friends, or only me. Public, once again, everybody can see it. Anybody in the world. Friends, only people that are on Facebook as your friend. And to be a friend on your Facebook, you have to accept them. Nobody can just be a friend. I'm going to say only me because I haven't made the video yet. I'm in the process of it and I don't want other people to see it at this point. So I'm going to say only me. Then I come over here and I click on this. As soon as I click post, it will be on my wall. So you see right here, it's on my wall. But nobody can see it. Now, if I want to change that, you see the little lock right here? Click down the drop down menu and I can change this on who I want to see it. There's a lot of different things I can do. I can make it public, your friends, friends and acquaintance, accept acquaintances, and all these other options. I could just say people in the Jupiter, Florida area, my area, if they want to see it. A lot of good options there. Now, I may have said okay that post is kind of stupid I really don't want to have it so come over here to this little drop down menu see the cursor okay so we're gonna click on there and we're going to say edit post if we wanted to change how we worded it which I don't uh, change the date instead I can hide it from the timeline or I can delete it all together so let's say I set it up for friends to see it and now I decided I don't want anyone to see it. In fact, I don't even want to see it. So I'm just going to hit delete. And it gives me the option of deleting it from my entire Facebook. And I say yes. So now it's deleted it. Now, as we go through the wall, there's, there's different things on here. Okay, so let's say the other night I was at a restaurant. My wife posted this photo. Let's say I want to say something about it. I can click on the photo. See how it got bigger. And now, if I want to let everybody know that that's me, I would have to go over here, for instance, with Sandra, and I would add in that this is her. This is called tagging the photo. Okay? So watch this. I click on tag, and it gives me the option here to name her. It already recognized her face, so I'm going to put in that, and now she comes up, and she's tagged. Now, 
she's going to show up on here with her name on my Facebook. Now let's go back and click it again. She already tagged me, so there's my name. If I wanted to tag me, I could click on tag again. See this here? It's going to click right on my face. Okay. And then it's already tagged. Okay, one of the most popular things that people like to do is to add photos to their Facebook. Um, once you add the photos to your Facebook, they're going to be saved on your Facebook here under photos. And these are all various photos. We can set it up into albums if we want. Uh, you would create an album right here. And then we can just click add photos. So I'm not going to do that right now. What we're going to do instead is we're going to go back to the timeline where we are right now. If I'm not sure, again, go up here or to here and then click on it. And that brings us back to our, our main page. Uh, already these are new posts that are coming up from friends of mine on Facebook. So if I wanted to say I like this photo, like, hey, yeah, that's a pretty funny video. The guy's got a video playing, right? Now, if I want to comment on it, I can go down here. I can comment right there. If I say comment, I go down here and I type what I think about the video. So I'm going to say funny. And now all I have to do is hit enter. That's it. Okay. Now, if I don't want to, if I say, ah, I changed my mind about that. Go to this drop down menu and just click delete. That's all you do. So what if I want to add my like to this photo? You just come over here to this like and all I have to do is type this. I could hit one of these too if I want it. Or I can just go like, like this. Now I'm going to be on that list of people that like it. And that is it. Now we're going to go back to one of the most popular things on Facebook and that's posting a photo. Now um, let's just say I'm a video producer and we were on a shoot and I want to show what we were doing. So I can just type on here and I can say at work, right? And I'm going to say that uh, this is available for the public to see. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to click over here on photo video. Okay. I will find a video or photo that I want to add to us at work. All I do, it's so simple, I hit open. And there it is. Now I can tag who I was with. If I want to add in my wife, which she was helping, again, I do that. I find her name and I click on it. Over here, this is showing me new notifications that happen. So I have a one up there. Somebody that I either liked or am following added something to their Facebook. Now, if I want to see what that is, I just click on it. And it looks like my wife added a photo of me five minutes ago. So here we are at a party on Saturday. And everything looks good. And if I want to tag the photo, you see I would hit tag. And I can come up here to these different people and tag them. Okay, so this again is my wife, so I say tag her name. Okay, so this, like I said, in notifications are showing everybody the things that happened and you can look at all down here. You can scroll down further like this, or you can go to see all and it's going to show every single one. If I want to see any of these closer, all I have to do is click on it and it'll come up like that. We can see all the people that commented. We can see what people liked it. Everything is there.
Now, if I want to remove my tag and I say, I don't want to be on that photo, I just have to do this. Very easy. If I didn't want to follow my wife anymore, what she's doing on here, I would hit unfollow Sandra, which I'm not going to do at this point. Now, another kind of cool thing that you might want to take advantage of is this little area here. This is called messages. And if I want to send a message to somebody, I would click on this and I have to type in a message. So the last one that I sent it to was my wife again. So I click on this and you see this thing down here? This is going to show us all our messages at the bottom. Now I'll just type in hi and to send it I just hit enter. If again, if I want to attach a photo, you see this? I can add photos, a sticker, we can add in smiley face, we could actually send money. And here we can add in attachments, files, it could be a video, it could be anything. So that's all we have to do. And then if I'm when I'm ready to send it, I hit enter. Okay, so that's done. Now when she responds, it's gonna pop up on my Facebook. If I want to look at all old messages, I can just go back here and scan through all of them. This icon here is it may be have a number on it, and it's going to show people that want to be your friend on Facebook. So you click on this. And these are the different people that have asked me to be a friend. And it's so simple. If you want them to be your friend, you say confirm. If not, we say remove. So like just remove there. And we won't have that request show up anymore. Very easy. Okay, so right now I'm back on my home page because I clicked F right here. Now, again, more posts coming up. This is an advertisement. This is a friend that was tagged. Like I said, she didn't put this on Facebook. This guy or this woman, Erica Bain, put it on there. But Morgan was tagged in this. Okay, see when I hovered over there, it shows Morgan's profile. And she's on my friends list. So therefore, she shows up on my post. That's why you might want to make sure that you have to give permission before it's on the timeline if somebody tags you. Gives you a little bit more control. Another cool thing that we can do on Facebook for sharing information is I can take and add in the address of, um, see down here where this just popped up? Remember I said hi to my wife? Now she said hi back, right? So I can click on there and keep talking. Now, there is another option here too, uh, which is really nice if you're traveling, you're out of the country or something, and you want to do free phone calls. You click here where it says start a voice call. And I just click it and it's going to automatically call her. And if you have an internet connection wherever you want on your phone or your laptop or whatever, you're going to have free phone calls that way. Makes it really easy. So anyways, we're back here on my home page and I got there by clicking the F here again. And what I'm going to do is I want to add in a website that I found. Okay, this as an example, this is my website. So I need to copy this right here. This is the address. So let's drag our cursor across it like this. And it gives us the option right here of copying it. So I copy it, you see. Now here's our Facebook. We're going to click back onto Facebook. And it says, what's on your mind? And I can say something like, oh, check out this website. OK. And it saved the website address. So I'm going to say paste. Think about it being like on a clipboard. I hit paste. There is the website. It even comes up with the picture on my website, the description of it. Now if I hit post, everybody's going to be able to see that. They'll be able to click on it and go right to my website. 
I'm going to say discard because we're not going to use it. So let's say I wanted to do this on YouTube, okay? And I found some kind of cool YouTube video, okay? It might be, oh, let's just click on anything. This is a commercial I just produced. So we take the commercial. Why do you ride the Treasure Coast Connector? And we come up here and we click here. All I did was left click and it lit the whole thing up. Then I right click and it says copy once again. I hit copy. I can exit YouTube now. Go back to my Facebook. See, it's right here. And now I'm going to right click and I'm going to say paste. That's called cut and pasting. Now if I say post, this is going to come up on my wall for everyone to see that is allowed to on my friends list. And if they want to see the video, they're just going to click there and play it. And it's very simple. Okay, so back at my home page, and again, I hit F to get to my home page to see what's going on with friends and family. I notice up here I have another message and I have another notification. Let's click on the notification. And my wife has commented on a photo of me. So I click on it. And I come over here and I can use this to slide up and down, you see, and I can see the latest comment on there, which would be right here. And that shows our comment. If I want to exit out of here now, come up to the upper right and click on this X. It takes me back to the page. I have another message. Let's click here. And this is the last message. And again, it's from my wife, and it looks like she sent me a video. She probably copied this, as I showed you before, with the address bar. If I want to see the video, I click on it. And don't really know what that is, but something about Trump anyways. Okay, thank you very much to my wife for sending me that video. Okay, so we're back here at the page just showing me everything that happened. This person posted a video. I can hit play, start watching it. These are more videos that are like that, that they didn't post, but they're similar. Uh, Facebook also does this thing, people you may know. Um, they kind of, they can track it somehow through your phone and through your emails uh, and find out who you might have contact with. So I would just go over here for friend suggestions and then I just bring this arrow over and it keeps going through different people that I may possibly know. Actually, I don't know any of these people. If I did want to add them, just click add friend, very simple. If I want to do any more comments on photos, say there's this photo here and my cousin was in a car accident and they damaged it I don't know that I would want to say like, uh, it might not be appropriate. So I could come over here and say sad. Now that's going to be on her Facebook. That's pretty much it for right now. We'll get to another video and get a little bit more in depth to describe other things on Facebook. But what I just told you should be enough to get you going and up and running on Facebook.